All right. So let's get started. So hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar today, Lean Portfolio Management. So first of all, I would like to give you a brief introduction about myself. So I'm an agile and safe consultant with a wide experience in program management, and I lead agile transformations and I coach teams at global corporations. And over the years, I have worked on various different roles, ranging from safe scrum master to a release train engineer and agile uh, coach across different industries uh, like healthcare, insurance, retail, and finance. I'm deeply passionate about the project and program management and its frameworks. And hence, I, would, I, I like to keep myself up to date uh, with all these frameworks and the field. And hence, you see my degrees and certifications. So we have a fully packed agenda today, and we, would, we will start with uh, what is Lean Portfolio Management, an introduction to it. And then we'll talk about the portfolio and enterprise strategy, what are lean budgets, and how they can be established, and then applying lean governance, how to apply lean governance. And then uh, the two important bodies, uh, Agile PMO and LACE, which is nothing but Lean Agile Center of Excellence. These bodies, they play a very pivotal role in implementing safe and agile within the organization. And then we'll end our discussion with portfolio Kanban. All right, so this is our agenda today. And so we'll end our discussion with portfolio Kanban, as I was mentioning. Now, before we start, uh, I would like to know my audience. Uh, where, what role do you play at work? and we'll do a small poll. Uh, so for that, please go to www.menti.com and use this code. And we will have one minute to poll. Just answer, what role do you play at work? And then we'll see. Okay, so your time starts now. So the code is 309901, menti.com. So we have uh, quite a lot of audience from uh, who is Agile Transformation Coach and Agile Coach. And we have a few portfolio managers as well. So we have a um, lot of people who already, you know, have an understanding of, uh, you know, the safe and Agile Transformation and Agile at, at the portfolio level, which is great. Okay. And um, guys, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post those questions on the chat. Okay. So moving back, all right. So introduction to lean portfolio management. So one very important key thing in lean portfolio management is that your senior leadership, they understand the lean agile principles. So once they understand the lean agile principles, they are able to connect strategy to execution in, an, in a more effective manner. Right? And also, if they understand these principles, they are able to allocate lean budgets towards the execution of that strategy. Portfolio investments are created uh, by, by the portfolio team and the executives, and it is managed across the investment life, life cycle. There are various checkpoints which take place, which we'll talk about uh, later in the presentation, that help, ident uh, that help identify and also check the, the status of our investments. And LPM aligns agile development with business strategy. So aligning agile development with business strategy, what it does is it increases the focus on the delivery of value to the customers because agile focus a lot on customers. How are we delivering value to the customers through the creation of products and solutions? So. LPM aligns agile development with business strategy. And also LPM with agile, this combination offers a path to improving business agility. Now, what is business agility? Business agility is, a, is an ability of an organization to adapt to the ever-changing market needs or dynamic market needs by providing innovative business solutions. So when we mix agile with, low, uh, with the lean portfolio management, it paves a path for business agility. 
Now, lean portfolio management objectives. Now, what are the primary objectives of LPM? The first one is to maximize the throughput of value. And how do how we do that is generally uh, in safe at the portfolio level when we have the lean portfolio management, we use Kanban to visualize the flow of value, to visualize the flow of work. And we prioritize the backlog with the highest value uh, priority items in the backlog.
most of the people have used kanban at the program level and then followed by team level and then solution level and we have few people have used at portfolio level awesome and we have someone who's used it never okay all right so what i'm seeing is our audience they have a good understanding of kanban so kanban can be used at different levels and because we are talking about lean portfolio management here so we are going to talk about the portfolio kanban let me go back to the slide okay all right so portfolio kanban now what is portfolio kanban it's a method to visualize and manage the flow of portfolio epics from ideation through analysis implementation and completion so what it does is it basically visualizes how your epics are moving through the system by passing different states from analysis through completion and it can be used at different levels as we discussed and it's it helps match demand to capacity based on work in progress or work work in process or whip limits so if you're seeing this diagram in this picture so you see these numbers 3 to 10 in feature preparation feature selected 2 to 5 so these are nothing but whip limits so feature selected 2 to 5 whip limits what that means is that at a particular time you cannot have less than two epics within this state and you cannot have more than five epics so maximum limit is five for epics in this state and minimum limit is two so these are your whip limits these whip limits they help increase the throughput in the system and they help in identifying the bottlenecks easily so that we can go back resolve these bottlenecks so that our flow is maintained and again they provide opportunities for relentless improvement and there are different policies that can be defined at governing the entry and exit from each state so for example when you are doing for example user story development right you can have a policy saying that my 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 item my user story will remain in this this state and it cannot be marked as completed until and unless a peer review is done after the coding right only then it can be moved to the next state so these are like there there are governing policies for each and every state and the portfolio sync event is the event which happens it's a cadence based event in which lpm reviews and manages the apex within the portfolio kanban so the kanban is looked at in the portfolio sync meetings which happen on regular intervals maybe in two weeks or three weeks and the progress is again seen by the portfolio uh, portfolio team or the portfolio management team in the portfolio sync meetings so this is how your portfolio kanban is defined and this is the importance of portfolio kanban so this ends our webinar and i would like to walk you through some of the upcoming classes and webinar so we at ten agile we provide classes on different roles like devops leading safe advanced scrum master scrum master release train engineer we provide all kinds of safe certifications and classes so these are some of my up upcoming classes like devops leading safe advanced scrum master and then i'm also conducting uh, a webinar next month on september 24th if you want to learn more about kanban in detail so there i'll talk more about kanban process and then in october we have another web uh, webinar on spotify so spotify is another scaling model and we'll have a webinar in october on that if you need have any questions any queries please please feel free to reach out to our uh, to our website www.tenagile.com and also you can re reach out to me directly and email me at prateek.gupta@tenagile.com so this ends the presentation uh, and the webinar any questions assim do you see on the chat 
If you have any questions, please pose them on the chat. Uh, no questions so far. Um, I just want to mention attendees today will receive a discount code, um, a coupon of $200 off towards any safe class that's published on the 10 Agile calendar. Perfect. Yeah. So let's wait one minute. Let's see if you have any questions. You can post it on the chat and you can even ask it. That's fine. Do you have any questions? Uh, hi, yes, uh, my name is Gregory. I have a question on the slide mm -hmm. 10, as far as I recall. You described three types of events, strategy mm -hmm. alignment review, a team retrospect, portfolio retrospective, and uh, portfolio budget review. So right. if portfolio retrospective uh, is kind of self-explanatory, but for the strategy alignment review and uh, project mm -hmm. budget review, at mm -hmm. what time of PI it's better to conduct those meetings? Is it like before the PI planning or like after the PI starts or like? So, so, so mm -hmm. the best time for this is because what we are doing is we are doing, we are looking back, how did our quarter go, right? So this is generally done at the end of the PI, or maybe if you cannot, so that you can take the improvement items and you can execute those items in the next PI. You can take take those improvement items for the next PI. So generally, it should be towards the end of the PI or the quarter. Okay, thank you so much. Sure. I, I'm just going to add to that, uh, Pratik. Uh, the, most of these strategy alignment and review sessions are conducted um, at least twice a year. Um, yep. I think it's the same cadence that we use for value stream uh, mapping. Um, the first uh, value stream identification usually takes place when um, an organization adapts SAFE and they go through the first value stream identification workshop. And uh, about uh, six months down the line, we recommend that uh, you revisit the value streams. There may be subtle changes. Uh, or <clears throat> let's say if you've gone through a merger or acquisition or started a new line of business, um, or let's say you've gone through a cloud migration. Um, any of those events could necessitate um, creation of a new value stream or um, updates to a value stream. So typically, that is a really good time to also revise your strategy, um, strategic themes, and strategic alignment. Right. Yeah. With any new initiative, yes. That's also a very good time. Any more questions? Anyone? Um, nothing on the chat for now, Pratik. All right. All right. Then thank you, everyone, for joining today. And have a nice day. If you have any questions, feel free to email or visit tenagile.com. Thank you, everyone.